The LDS Church is releasing yet another volume of the Joseph Smith Papers, and this one contains something completely new. Not only will it show the original printer's manuscript of the Book of Mormon, but it also shows these, the seer stones, what Joseph Smith likely used to translate the book. They're beautiful, and we hope that both images and discussion of this sacred object uh, will add to the understanding of the translation of the Book of Mormon. In a press conference, church leaders explained these stones are something sacred not only to the LDS Church, but also to the Community of Christ, formerly known as the Reorganized LDS Church. They say the book was only possible through collaboration between the two churches. And so one of the things that divided friends and family is now bringing us together in this collaborative effort. Historians from both the LDS Church and the Community of Christ say that what's in these books will add some much needed transparency to early church history. Transparency, church leaders say, is growing more and more important in the digital age. Clearly we are in an age of transparency and having these avail materials available to our members and to other interested people makes it possible for them to see these materials directly without having to go through some kind of intervening person. These books are now released to the public and every page of the Joseph Smith papers will soon be online for everyone around the world to see. In Salt Lake City, I'm Cassie McDonald, Good for Utah.